So your shout outs for this video goes to Coaster Gens, who's on his way to 350 subscribers. Mensis Unius, make sure you watch all of his new vids because they'll be deleted by the end of the month. So it's best to watch them now than watch them get deleted later on. A massive shout out as well to George Costi underscore Richmond. Theme Park Awesome. Theme Park Unlimited, who's on his way to 60 subscribers, so make sure you get him up to that mark. And also to Theme Parks World. If you want a shout out in our next video, then please comment down below. Let's get into this Theme Park Newsroom update from Phantasialand. Hello there guys, my name is Coaster Child, Don Costa Born, Bob Bolt for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update where today we're going to be talking about Phantasialand and this is a video that's I guess 20 odd years in the making because the Phantasialand has always been wanting to expand and of course we remember, those of you who remember back in the day in 2008 when there was a large expansion proposal which included a large new wooden coaster, uh, for those of you who remember that one. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about some talks that seem to be going on, which could lead to an answer hopefully being decided in these next couple of years about the long-awaited expansion of the theme park. So we've got a news article explaining what's been happening recently. I'm going to share my thoughts on the whole situation as well. But realistically in modern times, this video, realistically in modern times it's about six years in the making but overall it's about 20 years in the making because Fantasyland have always wants to expand so before we get started if you want to interact with coast child youtube channel and get involved with the channel and interact and you know share your uh, thoughts and opinions and share anything you've got to do with the channel then here is how you do it if you've loved this video, make sure you hit the like button below. Make sure you also comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video topic. And also make sure you subscribe to Coast Child YouTube channel for more. And click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel with your friends, your family and our social media. And make sure you also comment down below your video suggestions which will be saved. Your shout outs which will be saved for the next day's videos. And also make sure you send in your merchandise continuously on Instagram and Snapchat. The links for both are in the description down below and I'll save your merchandise pictures with your name and location for the next merchandise showcase video. Also make sure you get your questions in the comments down below. Use the hashtag question before or after your question and they will be saved for our 2000 subscriber Q&A. Also guys make sure you reach that subscriber goal of 10,000 subs in the next 365 days and counting. If we do that, I will release Coaster Child merchandise on a new website as well as other projects I've got planned for the long term future. Let's get into another thrilling video. So that's how you can interact with the channel and now let's get into this theme park newsroom update from Phantasialand and speak about what's been happening recently on their long awaited expansion talks. So according to Radio ERFT which is a German news source, it's still unclear whether the Phantasialand can expand as hoped. Talks between the amusement park and the Ministry of the Environment have been going on for years. The crux of the matter are the for forest areas required by Phantasialand that belong to the country. So there's still no decision whether the country is selling the forest. The talks are on, it was said from all sides, and the Brula CDU Member of Parliament, Gregor Goland, is involved in these negotiations. He assumes that there will be still a result within this legislative period, i.e. in the next two years. Phantasialand wants to grow by almost 20 hectares in order to remain competitive. Among other things, a water park and a hotel is planned for the new site. The Hotel Charles Lindbergh in the new Rookbear area does not change anything that's currently under construction, according to the park. So that, my friends, is from the article Radio ERFT. You can look for that online. Uh, and you can also look at the Coastal Force forum thread for Fantasialand expansion. That thread's been open since about November 2012. Uh, and the fact that we're still talking about this now, it just shows how much the park will expand. Now, it seems like the coronavirus seem doesn't seem to be affecting Fantasialand in what they've been doing recently. Now, obviously I can't share the photos because they belong to someone, however, and I haven't really, you know, asked them if I can use them yet. However, if you look online, you'll see what they've been doing recently with the Rookba area, uh, and the fact that Hotels Charles Limber has been finished off, there was some new windows behind the Wild de Moss attraction, uh, or Master Chocolate, I think it's called attraction. Uh, there was like these new windows being added as well. And as well as that, they had like a refurbished hotel uh, bar, 
uh, like a restaurant bar finished up so uh, they've sort of redesigned that whole area there it's near Black Mamba uh, so they've been doing a lot of that recently so that so the focus has really been all about uh, refurbishing the park behind closed doors and you know getting re ready for the park to be open again and also with the work continuing on Fly and of course Hotel Charles Lindbergh which has been their project for the last couple of years it's been their main project and obviously I think it's looking likely to open at the end of this year maybe 2021 at the maximum uh, but from what we hear from this news it looks like in the next couple of years we'll get some kind of result about what's going to happen with the expansion talks for Fantasialand now Obviously, Fantasyland has been wanted to expand for a number of years. And I spoke about how in 2008 there were much larger proposal plans, which include a large wooden roller coaster for the theme park. Um, I'd like a wooden coaster at the park, not going to lie. I think it would be a great coaster for the park. But I think with these new, these rather new, maybe lesser expansion plans, still part of the 20 hectares with the forest site. Maybe there's some other future attractions that can involve with those plans, but I think that another hotel and a water park is going to be perfect in terms of the long-term destination feel for Fantasyland. Um, so the fact that Hotel Charles Lindbergh isn't going to affect anything under construction according to the park is the fact that they're willing to invest in that, along with their brand new Vacoma Flyer with the new uh, steampunk area, and also, along with that, they can still look to expand the park and construct um, now there was lots of stuff over the recent years about this expansion about like bus parking and you know loads of stuff going on so it's nice to hear something else very significant about this expansion so obviously this is very exciting news a water park is something I've always loved to see at Fantasyland it'll be a great investment for the park uh, and as, as well as that don't forget another hotel it, it gives more expansion room for the hotel accommodation side of things and it also allows more guests to stay overnight at Fantasyland which can increase capacity just that little bit more uh, park daily so I think that Fantasyland are really going to go for a good expansion here. Hopefully in the next couple of years we will see a definitive result from it. And with the county is selling the forest to Fantasyland, you know, they're in great hands with that. Hopefully they keep some of the trees or most of the trees because of course the fact that, you know, it keeps that magical fancy feel with the forest. Uh, so I think they can hopefully, fingers crossed, build around it or use the forest to its initiative and its advantage uh, and build the hotel, water park and all, everything like that into uh, the new area. But overall, this is going to be a very exciting project to follow over the next couple of years. So the fact that talks are still going on is very good news. Uh, and I want to hear your thoughts. You know, this project is a few years in the making. So... You know, what do you guys think? Comment down below your thoughts. I'll reply to every single comment like I always do. You know I do. And for now, guys, that is it for this theme park news update. But stay tuned because we've got plenty more news updates to come from Energylandia's new mine train coaster. And we also have an update from Wolby Belgium with their brand new mega coaster for 2021. Thank you very much, guys. My name is Coach Child, Kilt the Coast Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.